Hello and welcome to another short video for Linux.net. So this is the PinePhone Pro and yeah um, I've been showing you this and this is now a slightly updated version of Manjaro that's current and that's a Jetstream 2 benchmark number. That's just random browser benchmark running here in uh, Anglefish, the Plasma mobile browser, which is a great mobile browser, by the way. And this here is another device. It has a notch and it's Snapdragon 845 power. It's the Pocophone F1 and that's its score. So let's compare these. Oh God, locked again. Briefly, um, that's more than double the performance if I remember correctly. And yeah, I'm sorry, my PinePhone Pro is having issues. Now, this is base, uh, running something else. This is running PostMarket with Plasma Mobile. And I've had this device, the Pocophone F1 for a while, just like I've had the uh, similar, similarly specced uh, OnePlus 6 for a while here running Fosh. Um, both of those actually run the same system on a chip, which is an octa-core thing. Um, so let me briefly find that. I should have prepared that. Don't remember the menu. Here about. So yeah, for fast cores, really fast cores, and then for not so fast cores. Uh, details are on the post market the wiki. Uh, and now why did I never show those off before? Well, time, of course, but there was something else. And I just didn't want to have some uh, grumpy old men yelling at me that they call it the Linux phone, those Linux nerds, and it doesn't even do phone calls because the OnePlus 6 still as of this date or well as of yesterday I didn't check today does not but the Pocophone 1 F1 now does so let me just call myself here uh, call ID turned off and answer that and you hear that that's almost Re things, I don't know what it's called, you know, the stuff that shouldn't happen when you deal with audio. And that means call audio works on this. And now this can be called a mainline Linux phone. And it also is the fastest mainline Linux phone out there. That's that. Um, yeah, it's nice. Generally, PostMarket OS with Plasma Mobile uh, is pretty good. Sadly, I can't get that keyboard to work with GTK apps. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. So if you know anything about that or if there's something you want to know about this device, please uh, get in touch and tell me while I'm now installing Neofetch. Yeah. So let's have a last NeoFetch here. And then that's it for this video. Okay, can't see it really. Sorry about that. What rotate is on, but refuses to work. Well, see, there are some more issues apparently. But in general, this is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching and See you soon in another video, maybe. Bye-bye.